ไม่เป็นสุดแท้ก็ชมเอาทางที่ก็ผมชมแล้วก็ต่อทางก็ไม่ได้ทุกคนที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่ที่
叫飞母鸡，一直好追。
καλά, ακούς τα κουλιά.
あと何時間ぐらい<笑><笑>做做做事做，小病了，那就做的，什么那病就等着做治疗，是吧？健康那我才能活着。
The other thing that I point to is the, uh, the Kaik, the Lusheng. In China, they call it Lusheng, we call it the Kaik. But the Koreans, they use the same instrument. And, um, but only for ceremony. So we're going to be on YouTube well, on now. I'm where telling you. Where, uh, <laughs> Mong leader educates yeah. Korean on yeah. Korean. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny, so, right? Yeah, I, was, I, was, I was amazed yeah. with the story. I'm, like, I'm a better Korean now. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I'm but if you Korean. research it, you'll find that. Okay. And the... Uh, <coughs> One of the best stories is <coughs> there was a Hmong boy who went to Japan for a fortune program. He married a, a Japanese girl, and he was, um, you know, he, he took him back to the states. And uh, a part of the um, the education uh, for her is that traditionally you dress in the Hmong garb and you go back uh, to the uh, in-laws to the wedding. So that's what she did. When she went back, their their grandma came and she showed the pictures of. Her traditional costume, which is Hmong. So we know that the Juli tribe extend as far as Japan, Korea, all the way down to Yunnan, Vietnam, Laos. And so that's a fact. And I think that part of it is like we have trouble understanding um, the dialect of the Kuecha uh, Hmong. We only understand like 30 percent of it because we can separate so well. You know, just like. You know, um, regional in Laos, we we have the demonstration of the three um, young girls who sang, which was distinctly different, and that was just separation in life. And so it's certainly possible that as we get separated, we develop new languages. Yeah. And so yeah, I mean, I I would rule it out, but the dreams of all that's what happened. I don't know the genetics of how close we are. But I know that they did a genetic uh, study of, of the Hmong and how closely related we are. And the one in which we share 80% uh, is uh, the Hmong from Yuna. And uh, as you move forward, uh, upward uh, towards uh, central China, you lose more and more. And I 
want to say Poicho, we only share like about 40% uh, with him, Gen X. Uh, but uh, we look a little bit different too. Uh, part of the reason why is during the Ming Dynasty, they wiped out all the men and they married all the women. So now there's a lot of blended uh, families. Uh, so it's the same thing as, as Korea. The Julian tribe may have gone there, but it could have been blended with Japanese. And so now we have their blended, you know, uh, Hmong line, which is Korean. <laughs> Let me get a, a, a picture. See if you want to read it. Okay, up. yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Three of us. All right. Got time to go, right? Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take this gentleman home. Yes. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There's a lot of animals. 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 There's a lot of